this is for anyone who's at home. I'll be recording this. Right, so let's get on with the lesson now. Um, right, yesterday, last lesson, when did I see you last time? We were talking about how to change society. All right, so how do you stop people from being racist? What were we saying about yesterday? Oh. Yeah. Shoot my head. Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Any any other ideas? Oh. Yeah. You put them in the workhouse. Put them in the workhouse. That could be it. So you've got so you've got two ideas. You've got like education, and you've also got hard labour. Hard labour. So education. So we're going to have a talk about that in a minute. Right now, I'm going to choose. I'm going to show you something. Okay. And there's a picture, and. I just want you to think about what this picture is of before you say anything because I did this with my other year nine class and they, some of them were a bit silly and it's really not the picture to be a bit silly about okay right first of all does anyone know what this is a picture of the child yes, uh, the grand child trying to get yes so this is a picture of a Syrian refugee child he was two or three years old, Alan, and he was he drowned along with his mother and his brother as they were trying to flee Syria to come to Europe. So this was on a Greek beach. So who can tell me why that is such a powerful picture? Why is that so powerful? Yeah, Alan. Absolutely. So first of all, um, you could suggest that it shows the legs. So obviously it shows the legs that they would go to, that they put their children in peril. And it also shows, I think, how awful it must have been for them to decide that trying to cross um, the sea in obviously a, um, a, an unseaworthy boat wasn't very good. And it shows just how bad their lives were. What else? Why else was it just so like <gasps> shocking, Alex? Yeah. Well, we're supposed to protect children, aren't we? Yeah. So we're supposed to protect the innocent. And he's just washed up um, upon a beach, just like, I don't know, anything really. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought that the people that first thought was meant that we have to help. Right. So they're like, down. What, rather than take pictures yeah that's really interesting because we do a poem in year well you, you start it in year nine we do poems about a war photographer and kind of like is is it right that people don't help out and they just take pictures they're just observational aren't they yeah Absolutely, Archie. Regardless if it's right or not, they they aren't actually allowed. The fact that they aren't allowed to help. Them. I know, but that doesn't mean it's right or not. I mean, the contracts aren't made by God. Yeah. But also, <laughs> wouldn't they have always be checked that the child is dead? And can't really look it. Well, this is it. I mean, he washed up. He was like a bit of rubbish. So he would have been going in and out the sea, like you know. It's just awful. Yeah, Oscar. Awesome. Do you think about spreading awareness rather than spreading Do you think that this picture changed the world? Do you think that this picture changed people's understanding and perceptions of refugees and immigrants? Who thinks it would have? It would. Who thinks it should have? And who thinks it didn't? Okay. Yes, there was um, an article afterwards where his father said, nothing's changed. You know, you saw this picture of my son and he was basically dead. And he was carried away and everyone was shocked. The whole world was shocked. And yet, what have you done? Nothing. And he, he didn't. So the actual father didn't think that there was anything that had actually changed. Yeah. Um, have you ever heard of a book called Soul? No. It's about these two girls. 
from our history crew, like they, they were not coming, they were having English and something else. And um, basically their father was going to take them off to this, like, this nice place. They thought it was a nice place, but then when they went off, they got sold into marriage. And um, we got sold as slaves in it, and uh, basically um, it was their mum trying to get them out of um, like how they stayed there, and basically they were great. Like okay, maybe tell me about it at the end of the lesson. Yeah. All right, because it sounds really interesting. Darcy? Um, yeah, so I haven't actually seen that picture before. You haven't? So, like, I don't understand. I thought it was such a powerful picture, like, why it happened. Why did it happen? Is that what you said? Yeah, like, it's like, you say it's like a really powerful picture, and it should have, like, changed everything. I haven't ever seen it before. So. It happened about five or six years ago. Um, you've never seen it? Who has seen it before? When have you ever seen it? Oh, actually, you have. What's up? You see everything. I mean, everything dead. Yeah. I mean, uh, go home and ask your fam, your your parents, because they probably would have seen it. So, these are. Um, Unfortunately, when I do record things, I've always got to go back through here and kind of uh, to share it with people at home. So it was a very, very powerful picture. Uh, here he is. I mean, it's got its own Wikipedia page. I think I have their own Wikipedia Can you just treat, like, treat it a little bit more respectfully? Maybe look at it. I'm looking at it. Um, and this is the guy that obviously went and picked it up, picked him up. Um, well, the little boy. And this is the sort of thing where they were coming, where they were coming on. It was, um, you know, these these little dinghies, and this was the boy that died. Uh, that's his father, and it it was a really, really, really big thing. Um, I mean, this is the Independence, so this is one of the papers. Uh, if you have a look at this front page news i mean there's nothing i think more shocking than that uh it actually says here um has caught the attention of newspapers and politicians across the world oh, yeah turkish speech not greek sorry i got that <laughs> wrong um so what i'm saying is it's pretty awful isn't it that sort of thing and that is a sort of thing that you would actually think would actually change the world um but did it no, no his father said it didn't but anyone want to say anything about that the reason is what i'm saying is there are different ways to change the world there are different ways to change things yeah alex well i feel like some images and videos have changed the world but a lot of them just don't get shared around enough it's really strange what does get shared and what doesn't because sometimes there's random stories which really aren't that important I find just everywhere. Yeah. And then other times it'll be like really serious that should really be addressed and everyone should know about. And I just find it doesn't come around with ages. I think it's, it depends what happens, what will sell papers in a way yeah, sometimes, it's isn't it? Okay. Um, so what I want you to do first of all is can you put get your books and put today's date? Right. Okay. So here on here we have. In your books, I want you to write down as many techniques as you can to change somebody's view. Now, I think with my last class, we got 15 different ways to change somebody's mind. So think about having someone in front of you and you want to get them to change their mind. How would you go about doing it? What sort of things would you do? So you can work with the person next to you. I'm going to give you five minutes for this. You want to change somebody's views, you want to change someone's mind and get them to do something. How would you do it? So what would you do to get people to change their mind? Okay. Okay. 
That's one way to change. But what we were talking about yesterday, all the things that we were getting, like how to get children to eat their vegetables and how to stop people being racist and how to do this and how to do that, all of those things. Uh, all right, well, when I saw you last, we went through that. You weren't here, you left, didn't you? Yeah. So we, we talked about if you had to get children to eat their vegetables. If you had to get society to stop being racist, um, how would you get people to change their change their minds? How would you persuade your parents to let you go out if you were grounded? So it's all the different techniques. I've only got one. I'm not educated. Well, I said that one, so try and think of other ones. Title: Just put um, changing people's minds or something like that. Or protest. Huh? Protest. Protest. Yeah, that's a good one. Protests. Social media. But but what on social media? Like adverts, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay. But what? You've got to be more specific about. You've got to kind of say, yeah, I know adverts, but how do adverts make you want to do something? Petitions. Petitions. Yeah. We make them. We're gonna make. Um, we're gonna think about LGBTQ. Right. That's good. Yeah, but billboards, but how are you going to get them to change people's minds? A billboard is a way of doing it, but what is the technique? Are you going to shock people? Yeah. But you've got to think about what it does, not just like the technique of it. So imagery, is it going to be to persuade them? Right, so I just I think you're struggling with this a little bit. So let's do this together. So can you make sure you've written these ones down? So we've said already education. So we're on the board and don't worry about your spelling. Um, right, what else? What other techniques? Uh, Oscar. Um, you can have the, uh, the picture. So shock, because that so shock is one way to get someone to change their opinion, isn't it? You shock somebody, they're like, <gasps> very good. Leah? Uh, being able to get people to relate to what's happening. Yeah. Very good. Make sure you're writing these down, Archie. Experience. Uh, that's like that's like the one above, isn't it? Personal yeah. experience. Personal. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yes, lovely. Right, so propaganda, you I can't spell propaganda. What does propaganda usually use? Yeah. It's a technique of making someone change their mind. I know of one from the war, like using propaganda to make someone change their mind to want to do uh -huh. something. So in that they're talking about need. Dan, are you writing this down? No, I am. All of them. Yeah. Okay, so need. Very good. So making people think that they are needed, that would change somebody. I really need you to do this. Um, please. But I'm gonna plea I'm gonna plea with you. Please, please, please help me. No one's gone down the punishment route yet. Oh, Archie. Yeah, and if they yeah. if they do it, then they're either punishment, but like No, that's fine. Let's say for the stuff like being racist. Yeah. If you don't want those kind of people in society, maybe you have to force them into the army. Why do you not shoplift? Why do you not shoplift? Yeah. So, so people don't shoplift not because they think it's wrong, but because they know they're going to get punished. So it's fair, isn't it? So to get people to, can you turn around? Turn around. In fact. If I have to talk to you again for leaning on the wall, you come and sit here. Right, so yes, very good. That is a good point. There are lots of, think about the things that you do in your life. A, that you do because you want to, and B, you do because you're worried about the consequences. Like why, if you're bored of my lessons, which I know you never will be, why do you not just walk out? Because there's a punish, because there's a punishment. 
Why do you not fight with people you don't like? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Okay, why do you eat um, fruit and vegetables you don't particularly like it? Because they're healthy. So, um, Lainey, why do you eat it if you don't? If you don't particularly like it, because that's not punishment. Luckily for me, I do like it, but for people that don't, I think, I don't actually know, well, it's kind of a daily routine for me, eating fruit and vegetables. If you don't eat it, it's almost like as though it's kind of your own life yourself, you don't want to eat it. But, like wanting to better yourself. Reward. Okay, so... That's a major thing that we said yesterday, or when I saw you last. Esri. Guilt. <laughs> Lovely. Who does things because they feel guilty? Oh, I should do that. I should. Do you not do that? Like if it's if it's raining and you want you don't want to take the dog out for a walk and you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Using kind of the phrase, what if you had, or kind of what if you were in that situation? Uh huh. That's kind of like linking back to the idea of personal experience, but that's more like sympathy, isn't it? These are good ones, or empathy. Like, imagine if you were Alex. Anything else? Darcy, you've got your thing. Yes, I, I should I put that with fear. Yeah. Or seeing it like in person, so kind of mm -hmm. you hear about it, but if you actually see it in like human mind, and that kind of like relate to what that's happening. that's almost like related to what's happening and also shock. But yes, having a personal experience, of what you're going through, or work. saying yeah. this could be you, Archie. Yeah, like uh, I've got two things. Good, give me them quickly then. Name and shame. And what would that technique be? Uh, guilt, actually. But... Or embarrassment. Yeah. You can get someone to change their mind by saying, if you don't, I'm going to embarrass you. And, uh, yeah, that's what I suppose. Preschool. Yeah. And this. <coughs> Very good. Uh, I put that up with punishment. Um. of privileges. Very good. Right, a couple more, Lainey. Um, I don't actually know what this is called, and it probably comes under a lot of the other ones, but like, if you do something like that is part of something, um, like the only example I can think of is um, during the war, like if you didn't, you would be sort of seen as like a bad person and someone who doesn't want to help, and maybe if you join with someone that wants to put their life to save others. So I think that would be probably going under embarrassment and guilt, wouldn't it, about not helping people? Yeah, good, good point. Yeah. Um, protests. Protests. Um. Like protests and like um, like um, yeah, okay. Like because that will make people people change their minds. Sorry, I've written it up there. Yeah, statistics, and all those are like facts, aren't they? Like, you should think this because here are the facts. Yeah, last one, Archie. Uh, this community service, but what about if somebody did something like bad, like what most people's arm robbery, they have to go into the arm? But what would you be changing? You can stop the people from coming back. Like, so, what technique would that be? Punishment, wouldn't it? You'd be trusting them with gold, so. So, you're already <laughs> saying if you do this bad thing, you'll be punished. Yeah, so, there's a fear of punishment. Right, yeah. Alex? But that won't make them change their mind, what I'm saying. Oh, it's not going to make the baddie change. It wouldn't, well, it might make them change their mind. Yeah. It would keep, if they're like an act on the racism, they're going to. Prevent them from acting on it because they're not there. Yeah, very good. Right, last one. Did you have your hand up? Fine. Okay, right, next thing. I'm going to see if you. Right, here you have them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What I want you to do is I want you to put 1, 2, 3 as your top three, and I want you to put 14, 13, 12 as the ones that you think would 
not work. Now remember, it's Three, about 12, 13, 14. Yes, whichever 12, 13, 14. I was going from the bottom one. So I want you to put, so you're going to have six numbers on here. One, two, three. So what's your first one? And remember, we're talking about how to change somebody's view. And uh, I will think about. Oh, I've got rain on my. <laughs> be interesting to see which ones you think. Have you done that? I kind of think that. I was struggling. I just literally put three down, but not necessarily. Well, no, you've got to think about it. No, no, I've thought about it, but I just haven't put it in order of like top. Well, oh, no, I have the top three. So you've got the top three, so can you put those into any order? Yeah, I've got the top three in order, but I can't put the bottom three. Why not? Into order. Why not? Oh, no, I just don't know which one. Like, they're all like, I'd say, on, around the same level. Take your hook down. Is it? Really, my favourite student. Why not? Go on. Hey. My good mates. Right. Now have you done this? Have you got the most on your. Um, you are done. He's not. He's not. Your twin test. Fulfilled his potential as my twin, oh, have you? Oh no, Daniel. <laughs> you got to better yourself. Oh. You get a reward. Yeah, I know. And then Daniel was just not being the best twin you can be. But have you done this? You've got to be able to justify what you're saying. So just one. Not a bottom one. This is mean the people are. Hang on, 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 hang on. Right, what I'm going to be doing as well is, if you're away, I'm going to be record. I'm going to be doing this on Teams, but I'm also going to be recording it, and you're going to be able to watch it back, which I do suggest you do before you come back to the next lesson. Otherwise, you're going to not know. Can they hear they, they can hear you, but they can't see you. It's only on me. Yeah, one one. Hmm? One one. They'll, they'll see me telling you off. Uh -huh. Is there anyone even on this? Olivia. Well, look how many people are away. But no one's at Yeah, no one's at Doesn't matter, I'm recording it as well. So I put it on YouTube so they can watch it after. What's your YouTube channel then? I'll show you, I'll send you anything. I'll send you something. Do you have any subscribers? Thousands. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure you telling the truth or not. Yeah. <laughs> you could genuinely have. Thousands isn't that much though. Right, have you done this? I haven't, I've got about 100. Okie dokie. This has great. Okay, right then. Let's see, let's talk about positives first. Um, Right, Oscar, what did you put for number one? To make people change their views, what did you put for number one? Uh, well, my, the one that I would do. Yeah, that's the one that you would do. Um, no, 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 no. Just tell me which one you do. All right, one of the top three. Um, let the billboards will be restored for the so show, but what technique is that? Shock? To shock somebody or to uh, make them yeah, think? Shock. shock, okay. Yeah. Lady? Um, Education, 
Uh, I did uh, as my first shock, second propaganda, and third fear of death. Yeah. I had punishment, threat, and Okay. I put personal experience, sympathy, and threat. Right, you, a lot of them are actually saying, a lot of the US say threat, aren't you? And I was, Alex? <laughs> education, shock, and hunger. Right. Yep. I have threat plus fear, education and punishment. Okay, again, kind of quite that that's very much based upon fear, isn't it? And not and worry. Yes. Mercy. Right, this is what mine did. Now, I had education as number one. And the reason why a lot of the ones that you said that you thought were really good, like threat and punishment and embarrassment, does that change your view? Or does that change your behaviour? Because, all right, if you're told to do so, I'm going to just give you an example. You have a certain view about something, like you need to tidy your room. Well, I don't want to tidy my room. If you don't tidy your room, I'm going to take your Xbox away. So I'm going to tidy my room, but actually my view is I still don't want to tidy my room. So things like punishment and threats and embarrassment, it doesn't actually change people's views. It changes their behaviour. And you see the difference. It's really important that you understand the difference. Hey? I feel like I should change it. Right, so so I've just given I've just made you change your view by giving you facts, haven't I? Who now changes their view? No. No. Still think that uh, yeah. if you don't want to do something, right, and I give you reasons why it would be a good thing for you to do it, I persuade you. That's changing your view. I, if I, I, I think shock is number one. Because then. you can stick with your answer. Yeah. 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 Very good point. The whole reason why we're doing this is we're talking about um, A Christmas Carol, which is the book that Charles Dickens wrote. And he wrote it, and in it, he was talking about changing society's attitudes towards the poor. So he wanted to change their attitudes and then he wanted to change their behaviour. Okay. And everything that happened after that. So I'm going to put a couple of questions on the board that I want you to answer in your books. Okay. So here are the questions. Do you think that you need to change some one's view if you want to change their behaviour. One. So, is it worth trying, if you can change someone's behaviour without changing their view, is it worth putting the effort in to change what they think as well? No. Or just the fact that they've changed their behaviour, is that enough? Yes. Right, so write this down. I want you to go, yes, no, I want you to add things. Can you write this? You don't have to write the questions, just write the answers. There you go. So I want you to explain those. I give you just over five, six minutes. I don't just want a little school scrabble. Right, and for those people at home. You, you could just pause this now it's, on this one. It's also about the SP for them. Is anybody actually on the live? No, because he wasn't actually.